It is official. The Pittsburgh Steelers have given out some jersey numbers to the recently signed free agents and also recently traded players. Also, Russell Wilson has had a team offensive median down for a workout in the offseason. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for every Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates. Also, like the video. Let's get right back into it. So, some of the players the Pittsburgh Steelers signed this offseason are Patrick Queen, Deshaun Elliott, Kyle Allen, Dean Lowry, and many more. And there's also players they traded for, like Dante Jackson from the Panthers, and also Justin Fields from the Bears. And their jersey numbers have now been revealed. So, it was up in the air, which jersey number will Justin Fields be wearing? Will he wear number one? Nope, that's not allowed. The Steelers are not giving out that number. Also, will he wear number two? Where he Will he wear number five? It was announced by people on social media and reports saying that he's going to be wearing number five. But no, that was false. He will be wearing number two. So, looking at Justin Fields, he will wear number two, which was last worn by Mason Rudolph, who departed from the team this offseason and signed a contract with the Tennessee Titans. Also, another notable player that has worn the number two and actually has kind of the same play style as Justin Fields is Michael Vick. If you remember that one season in which Michael Vick was on the Steelers, he wore number two. And now Justin Fields will also wear number two. Both of them are obviously running quarterbacks, are extremely talented at taking off and being able to escape, pick up yardage, and take it to the house on any given play with their legs. Obviously, when Michael Vick was here, he was not the same player he used to be with the Falcons and with the Philadelphia Eagles, but he was still a player in which when he did perform, especially in the Chargers game late in the season, he was able to have a good game. So he was also someone who had a really talented arm, really strong arm, and that's what Justin Fields has as well. So Justin Fields will be wearing that number two, which was formerly worn by Michael Vick and also recently Mason Rudolph. I also went through it in a different video if you want to go check it out, but the reason why he is not wearing number one is because the Steelers are not giving out that number. Even though Justin Fields has worn that number his whole life through college and also in the big leagues with the Chicago Bears, the Steelers are not giving out that number because their all-time leading scorer, their kicker, has worn that number and it's not officially retired, but they just don't give it out. If you remember, George Pickens wanted to wear it when he was coming out of college, but they said no to him, and they said no to Justin Fields. Justin Fields decides to go with number two and not go with number five, in which it was reported earlier. So Justin Fields will be wearing number two. Now, moving over to the next player, the Pittsburgh Steelers have signed this offseason is Van Jefferson. So Van Jefferson will be wearing the number 11. This number seems like it's always popular in terms of wide receivers that come over from the pits, from a different team and sign with the Pittsburgh Steelers or get traded to the Steelers. Every wide receiver always seems to pick number 11. Also, the last person who wore number 11 was Allen Robinson, who got cut this offseason but was obviously traded over from the Los Angeles Rams last season and he wore number 11. And if you remember, who also is a former Ram? Van Jefferson. Van Jefferson wore number 12 when he was with the Rams, and he wore number 15 when he was with the Falcons last season. But now he decides to pick up that number 11 that's always so popular, and he will be the next person to wear that number. So, Van Jefferson, he'll be wearing number 11. The next player on the Pittsburgh Steelers roster who has gotten an extremely popular number is Deshaun Elliott. Deshaun Elliott was signed this offseason to be the Pittsburgh Steelers safety and he chose number 25. And obviously Ryan Clark is a notable player who has worn number 25. But he wasn't last. The last person to wear that number was Eric Rowe. So that means that Eric Rowe might not be returning or if he does he may just be getting a different number. I know he's a popular person in free agency because he stepped in and really did a nice job after not playing the entire season. But when he got signed by the Steelers, did his job and did it solid. So, Deshaun Elliott, he gets number 25. And what's he supposed to be, Deshaun Elliott? He's supposed to be a hard-hitting safety, someone who's going to make plays on the football and look to disrupt the pass. And who wore that number? 
Ryan Clark. And what did he do? Exactly that. Was a really nice safety for the Pittsburgh Steelers and very underrated player when he was here. So Ryan Clark, his jersey number is now given to Deshaun Elliott. So Deshaun Elliott is wearing number 25. Now, moving over to the next player who was signed this offseason is quarterback Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen will wear number four for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Also, punter Cameron Johnston, he will now be wearing number five. So obviously, Justin Fields, he picked number two. That left open the number five spot, and Cameron Johnston will be taking that number. So just looking at those numbers, the last person to wear number four was quarterback Trace McSwirly. He was off here for a short period of time, the practice squad, but he was the last person to wear that number four. The last person to wear that number five was safety Henry Black. He was the last person to sign that number. Obviously, has he did not have a huge impact on this team. Proud squad type of player, but he was the last person to wear it. The last notable player to wear that number five, however, was Joshua Dobbs. When he was here, he was always a nice player, someone who the quarterback always lent on. The quarterback, Ben Rosper, always went to the sideline looking for Joshua Dobbs. So now that notable jersey number has been given out. The next big time jersey number for our free agent Patrick Queen, our biggest free agent signing of all time in terms of money, he will be wearing number six. Obviously, he would like to probably be number zero in which he switched to in Baltimore, but he'll be wearing number six with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Also, Quez Watkins, and who we signed from Philadelphia Eagles at wide receiver this offseason, someone who's supposed to be a really fast wide receiver. He has chosen the number 16 to wear. And looking at our next trade person that we picked up when we trade Deontay Johnson to the Carolina Panthers, we received Dante Jackson in return, the speedy cornerback, one of the fastest cornerbacks in the league. He has decided to wear the number 26 this season for the Steelers. Looking at Cordero Patterson. Cordero Patterson said it was either between 84 or or number 10. He let the fans decide, but he has decided to stick with his original number in which he is known for, number 84. He's wore it everywhere he has been, and previously, obviously that's Antonio Brown's number, so who knows if Antonio Brown's would be happy about that, but the Steelers have given away that number in the past. Someone in the practice squad was wearing that number a few years back during training camp, I remember, so it's not like the Steelers weren't going to give up the number. Cordero Patterson gets number 84, Antonio Brown's former number. Looking at Dean Lowry, this is the last person on the list. He has been given and chosen number 94. He's worn that number in the past, and now he gets that number with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, this is the official list of every new player the Pittsburgh Steelers have picked up via trade or free agency and what number they will be wearing. Just to recap, Justin Fields, number two. Russell Wilson, number three, Cal Allen, number four, Cameron Johnston, number five, Patrick Queen, number six, Van Jefferson, number 11, Quiz Watkins, number 16, Deshaun Elliott, number 25, Dante Jackson, number 26, Cordero Patterson, number 84, and Dean Lowry, number 94. Anyway, these are the newest Pittsburgh Steelers on the team, whether that's free agents or via trade, and these are the new jersey numbers that they have been assigned and ones that you'll see them in next season. Now, moving over to the next topic of this video, Russell Wilson. Quarterback Russell Wilson isn't relaxing this offseason as he has been reportedly brought the offense together in San Diego with his fellow teammates and held a workout. Tight end Pat Fryermuth said on the 412 podcast saying that this has been the case. And wide receivers Kelvin Austin, Van Jefferson, newly signed, all worked out with Wilson in beautiful, sunny South California. Russell Wilson, he came to the Pittsburgh Steelers on a team-friendly deal in March, and they will pay him just over $1 million, and he's already getting to work, bringing the team together for workouts. And this is always a good sign, because obviously you want that veteran leadership on the team, something that Russell Wilson has obviously done throughout his career, with Seattle, with Denver, but just being on the veteran on the team, he's the oldest guy on this offense. 
He's the one who's going to hold everyone together. The rest of the playmakers, the offense line, everyone else is more of younger players. So he's going to be the one who has to be that veteran and stepped up. And that's what he's doing already this offseason. He's got signed in March. It's April. And he's already doing his thing, bringing that veteran chemistry together. And that is going to be indeed a big stepping stone for the Steelers because it seemed like the Steelers offense was just never on track the quarterback, the wide receivers always making mistakes. So that's going to be key getting things really set in stone there. And him bringing in guys like Van Jefferson, who was just recently signed, is a good sign. Also, Pat Frymouth was not a big deal in this off offense last season. He was not a big piece. He barely got the ball. So having his relationship with Russell Wilson grow is obviously a key thing. Same thing with Kelvin Austin. Wasn't a big part of the offense. Obviously, Russell Wilson needs playmakers at wide receiver. Right now, Kelvin Austin is wide receiver number two, so that has to grow as well. And bringing these players together is going to be a huge part in getting this offense on track. Obviously, Russell Wilson, he was named the starter by Mike Tomlin, so we know he's going to be the person going forward at quarterback one. So obviously, he has to be the person to step up and do it. Not really just in the fields because he is the backup, but obviously getting everyone together is a big stepping stone in the right direction. Obviously, this happens with a lot of teams this offseason. I'm not saying it doesn't. I, probably every other team is getting workouts done, but it's nice to see that it's been reported by Pat Frymouth saying that this has already started to happen in a short period of time, before OTAs, before training camp, before minicamp, everything like that. This has already happened. Anyway, with that being said, this is your Pittsburgh Steelers update of the day the jersey numbers, and now this news of Russell Wilson bringing the teammates together. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this topic, all those jersey numbers that were revealed, how do you feel about each player wearing those certain jersey numbers, do you think they should have picked different ones, do you like the numbers that they picked, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And also let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about Russell Wilson getting everyone together for off-season off workouts in San Diego and building up that chemistry already one month after he was just signed also make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on notifications for the channel so you never miss out on anything pittsburgh steelers news where that's breaking news and trade signings everything like that i already covered all of them i'll continue to do so and draft season is right around the corner every new edition i'll be introducing them to you guys so to stay up to date make sure you turn on notifications and i'll see you guys all later till next time i'm out peace